right new video more garden um, improvements it's quite a priority for the next uh, couple of weeks we're gonna really improve on this garden our big bottleneck at the moment is having good quality compost or soil so we've come up with a plan old lawnmower with a hole cut out the side the franken chipper I'm gonna call it um, and a big pile of half dead wood and we're chipping it up and we're gonna add a load of grass cuttings and stuff from around the land and we will get some nice uh, compost on the go right let's get to it looks pretty dodgy doesn't it but it's actually not too bad Those your gloves eye protection hearing protection actually isn't too bad to use it's, uh, it's old lawnmower it's got no pull start no no nothing on it we even got fuel in it tonight right. Bad. It doesn't even throw too much at you. And uh, yeah, pretty good. It's not much good for uh, live stuff because it's too strong. But if it's partially rotten already, look at that. There's still some chunks in it here and there, but what's in that? Isn't it? yeah, it's uh, not fine or anything. Still lumps in it, but it will. Uh, the compost there's a lot of fine material there you know it's just not all like that there's bits escape through it but i think that will make good compost we get loads of nitrogen in with it get it really nice and hot i think that'll make great compost put this in and then we'll get a couple of uh nitrogen on there as well mix it all up the chickens will do that anyway because they love to spread the pile out which is really quite annoying just going to uh, got all this lovely green stuff some reeds and stuff, mulched it with the, uh, with the tractor, put a load of that down. Good morning everyone, so we've got um, some upset chickens today, I think they're going to keep them in. So we had a bit of an event, I don't know if you can see all the feathers around there. Uh, me and Dot were over in the uh, vegetable patch which is just there. And uh, we were planting some stuff out and we suddenly heard a load of commotion from the cockerel and we ran over and we couldn't see what was going on because we were standing just like here um, but we were missing a chicken uh, so we we're looking around where's this chicken suddenly we see a goshawk fly out through through from down here and fly up and down off down into the woods and you can see that there was a goshawk in here had one of our chickens Pauline him down next to this tree here um, and it was started to chew into her neck ripping the feathers out to try and get into her neck as they do uh, but we got over just in time she's fine she's just lost a few feathers but yeah that's what happened to the last one it wasn't a fox definitely not um, I looked online at the, when the last one happened it said that uh, the way the neck was chewed into was not really fox like so fox would take the chicken um, and again we've had the same problem again uh, so 
yeah we have a goshawk and I don't really know how to prevent against that to be honest it's pretty difficult to stop or something that flies um, but yeah we're gonna keep him in today in case he's around again coming back for a second uh, yeah so uh, what else have I done I've made a big pile of compost which I showed a little bit of which I'm pleased with I should have done that ages ago um, just here so that's uh, hang on. So yeah, that's um, quite a bit of compost there, a cubic metre or so of compost. Um, hopefully that will be ready to use fairly soon. It should get going. It should be properly mixed with the right ratios, so we should get that going fairly soon. And we've made some improvements to the garden too. I'll wait for Dot and she can uh, help explain. Right, I don't really know what's going on with the garden, so we're going to get Dot to tell you. So right, Dot, what have we got going on? Let's have a look, hang on, let me just spin the thing around so I see what's going on. There we go. So what have we got planted for a start? Uh, so they're potatoes. In that bed we've got potatoes. We did some seed potatoes and some uh, just potatoes that were sprouting, from, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, from the packet. Yeah. Um, so in this bed here we've got leeks. Leeks. And carrots. Leeks and carrots in there. Um, Needs to, that's not got anything in it yet. No. no. Okay. What's going in there? Um, carrots and beetroot. Carrots and beetroot in there. Um, in this bed we have swede. Swedes going in there. We're trying to do stuff with a lot of calorific value. We've got grass coming up already. Typical, isn't it? Let's get them out. Um, we've got some parsnips in there. Yeah. Um, it's not really deep enough, I'm not sure, I don't think. Not very good at this yet. Well, they'll just be short, I think. <laughs> um, nothing in here, but this will be the cauliflower and broccoli. Cauliflower bed. and broccoli in there. Um, we put in another bed. We're going to do runner beans runner back beans, here. Yeah. So I used some stone I'd lying around and filled it up with uh, varying different bits of organic matter that I got about and a bit of topsoil on top to plant in and uh, these cages I had as well so we might try and utilise them so there's another bed done and uh, today I'm going to put in another bed all the way along here to grow more beans because they're obviously quite high calorie good food so yeah big long bed across there for beans today right let's get to it we also uh, potted up some fruit stuff I had lying around, I think that's a red currant, a couple of gooseberry bushes and uh, we've started some tomatoes in some containers as well. But it's uh, bed making time so we're going to make a new bed, I don't know what we're going to fill it with just yet, but we'll figure it out. So we're cutting the turf off the top, not doing no dig, I want to get down to want to improve the soil. Um, so cutting the turf off, I'm saving the turf, I'm going to use the turf for the workshop roof and then improve this soil underneath the patch. So yeah, get it done, a bit more there, put some stones around, fill it with nice soil. I am such an idiot. Sometimes you just need a lady to tell you what's what, I suppose. All this work I've been putting in, moving soil and trying to figure out what I'm going to use for compost and everything else. And Dot said, what about the uh, farmer up above us there? Uh, have you asked him if he's got any? Because he's got horses. Called him up. I'm not joking. He's got about 100 ton of rotted, been there for 20 years manure and straw and sawdust mixed in. So I just went and got a little trailer load. This trailer was given to me by a subscriber, so if you're watching, thank you. It's getting used. So I've just got a trailer load, it doesn't tip, so I'm gonna have to uh, shovel it out, but we got loads of nutrients. Brilliant. So 
So for some reason my microphone stopped uh, stopped recording sound, but we went and got another trailer load of um, manure compost uh, from the farmer above us. Decided I'd um, get the orchard planted now that we had all this nutrients and we could improve the soil. So I just uh, started scattering it by hand around the area that I planned for the orchard. Uh, there's Dot in the trailer just uh, holding some of the trees. We moved them from that area near the wind turbine and uh, took them up to this area that I've planned out to be an orchard. Uh, it's gonna, once the trees grow up around it, it's gonna be a very sheltered area. The trees I planted a couple of years ago. So this is gonna be a really nice sheltered area. So yeah, we just uh, just moved to the trees we already had and we're going to, um, in, later on in the video, plant some extra ones we got locally as well. Right, successful day. We've got all the trees cleared from out of here, which is really good um, because the house is going here. I didn't know that when I first planted them, but I've got all the trees and fruit bushes, everything planted out here, out of here and planted in the orchard just there. So here is the newly planted orchard with uh, lots of lovely compost to enrich the soil and uh, so let's go around and show you what we got. All along here is things like red currants and gooseberries and stuff along that boundary. Uh, this is a cherry, edible cherry, um, well actually they're all edible but some are basically just for birds it will grow a, you know, a large cherry. Uh, that is a type of apple but I can't remember what type. That is a peri pear. That's another peri pear. This is another type of apple that I can't remember what it is. Um, this is another type of apple that I can't remember it is, what it is, but it's obviously an early one because it's flowering already. And I'm going to have to take a lot of those flowers off because uh, it doesn't have a great root system yet. And then we've put in some new ones. So we've got, they're from Morrison's, just cheap ones, tenor each, uh, Victoria Plum and we've got a conference pear and L star apple and what's that one there that is a I can't see it oh Brayburn apple sorry I'm not that familiar with apples and stuff I like apples but I'm not that familiar uh, Bramley apple and we've got a another Victoria plum. So yeah, quite a number of uh, nice fruit trees, all planted nicely with the uh, compost in the hole and everything. And yeah, hopefully they should do okay up here. I'm going to buy a scythe. And I'm going to keep this area scythe down nicely. Hopefully, a couple of years time should uh, should start getting some some fruit out of this. And the garden is expanding nicely lots more space we've doubled it really since uh since the last video doubled the space hopefully we'll have some uh, some stuff popping up soon we can start growing i mean this stuff here that we've put on we've only sprinkled a little bit on the beds but like that bed is mostly that really rich stuff so that's a bit too lively for a lot of stuff we're going to plant stuff in there that can handle the real richness of that uh, like courgette squash um, I'm not an expert at this by the way, I'm learning as we go, but I, I understand that they'll be okay in that. It's been rotted for a while, but it is very strong stuff, you can smell it. Um, so yeah, but I think we're getting getting there, I think we can make grow some food in this, you know. It's good. You know what dot's got me dressed up <laughs> Apparently I'm going to get sunburned, so I've got to wear a pink headscarf. And she said, it's alright, no one's going to see you. Yeah, only the... 25, 30,000 view average we get on the video. Yeah, so anyway, we're about to move a vegetable bed and I want to do have an experiment, see if we can do a no dig method. And I want something to put along the bottom to stop the grass, but I haven't got any cardboard. So this time of year, ash bark comes off really easily. Quite satisfyingly. You can just sort of unwrap the tree.
not the best time to cut wood and this is the reason because it's very wet this time of year because it's pulling all the water to uh, sapping to get the leaves to come out because of that the bark comes off very easily it also means the wood is full of sugars and uh, and it more prone to insect attack this is going to be embedded in the wall anyway so it doesn't really matter And it's like bone coloured ash when it first it goes grey, it doesn't stay like that. There's no way again it stayed like that. It starts off like bone coloured. Quite awesome really. Shame it's all gonna die. <laughs> right, trial in a no dig bed, We're taking the bark off of that. Uh, that's gonna be another video, I'm just doing some milling. Uh, chickens are having a nice time, it's just so hot. I can only work for about 10 minutes at a time. We're just filling this bed, this is going to be peas in here. A couple of rows of peas, just filling this with this lovely compost we got. It's all full of lovely worms. We'll put that bark on the bottom and stop the grass going through. Right, get this filled up. Alright, so we got another bed filled with that beautiful compost full of worms. That'll be lovely, peas are going to love that. Uh, the peas are nitrogen fixing anyway, so they don't really need um, really good soil like that. But um, I think they'll be okay in it. It shouldn't be too strong for them. I might put some sawdust in with it, calm it down a bit. But yeah, garden is coming along considering, you know, this was just quickly started about a week ago. We've got, I don't know, 20 square meters of beds at least now, something like that. It's coming along. And we've got a load of stuff in the uh, cold frame that's starting to come up. Um, as you can see, quite a bit of different stuff in there. That's swede all there. We've got cauliflower, broccoli, beans, loads of stuff in there. Peas at the back. Watching a lot of YouTube videos of what to plant and what to do. But yeah, it's all coming along. They got a nice big uh, pile of wild raspberries here, and they're starting to uh, show some flowers. I've given them a big load of compost around the bottoms of them, so should get a bit out of them this year. Nice wild rock. Yeah, Dot's goal for today, she says she's going to uh, do another bed here, and she's dug all that herself. And uh, she's going to get the stone round it, put the rest of this compost we got. So yeah, really pleased. Um, garden's coming along really well. I think we've got quite a bit of space coming along here now. Loads of seedlings coming up. Weed and beans and peas, all sorts planted. Yeah, so once they're all popped up and when we're planting them, we'll go through it all. But they're coming up, success. Reckon, gang, do you reckon you'll have her in the gang? Is this initiation? Is it? What are you doing, Bear? I see. The plan is to just keep adding beds. Uh, until we run out of energy basically we're just going to keep adding them because I don't know if anyone knows sort of what how, how much uh, square how many square meters you need to sustain two people I, I find really mixed figures on that uh, obviously we're going to be trying to do it fairly intensively with good soil try and get good yields but yeah if someone knows sort of how many square meters you need really for two people all year round and um, I can imagine it's quite a lot a lot more than this um, but we're just going to keep adding beds, going to put another long one across here. These trees are going to come out eventually because they're going to die because they're ash. So that will mean that if we can come closer in here we won't be shaded out by them. Especially not when the, sun, when the sun's high. And then we're going to put a couple more here. I don't want to go too far over because the solar power cable comes down there. I don't want to go over that. But we can get a couple more in here. And then we can put a few in front of the solar panels for stuff that... Uh, doesn't grow that high which is most stuff so yeah we're just gonna keep expanding we want I have to say at least a hundred square meters of beds 
currently got about 30. Check it out, look. She doesn't know it, but I can spy on her from my cave. She's slacking on her phone, look. Gonna have to have a word with her about that. Oh, Mathanwe, would you like a hand on loading that trailer? What? I've got a really good Welsh accent. Oh, we're all zoomed in. Dot doesn't think I've got a very good Irish Welsh accent. My David Jones, this is. You're not going to put that on Why not? <laughs> this is just how I sound. I've moved to Wales and I've developed myself an accent. <laughs> right, trailer is empty. Go and get another load. Feeling energetic, my lady? Nope. No, me neither. It's getting late in the day. Right, another trailer full of lovely compost just stashed over there because we're going to put in another long bed along here. I'm going to have to get on and get these trees out in the not too distant future. I want the logs out of them anyway. But yeah, the garden's come on along a long way since the last video. And we now have 30 square metres of beds, so that's not 30 square metres of garden, that's 30 square metres of actual growing space. And it's all filled with very rich, lovely compost. And, uh, and we've got a cold frame full up. We've also got carrots coming through there. Don't know if you can see them. That's grass. That's carrots. Um, so yeah, really good. We've got an orchard planted. We've got fruit bushes in pots. We've got um, swedes, um, beetroot, peas, tomatoes, cabbage. Uh, what else have you got? runner beans, broad beans, uh, pumpkin, summer squash, we got all sorts planted and uh, a lot of it's coming up, peas, oh sorry, the uh, peas coming up there, not sure if you can see, it's all pretty happy and soon we're going to be uh, planting it all out, okay, well I think that will be the end of this video, lots of progress, we actually now have a pretty decent garden at the end of it. Okay, oh, I don't know if I mentioned, but we put this old fencing across here to keep the cat off them. Um, we haven't done it for the other ones yet, but we're going to have to do something because she uses them as a litter tray. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.